Are heroes actually that good? We're talking all heroes, putting them into tears. Beautiful people, what's happening? Welcome back to the YouTube. If you have not subscribed, run that up. If you feel this positive energy, it's about to get active. Like it, comment it. We have five tiers as per usual. Broken, rank one, foot champs, debatable in the pine. Pele, the second coming. We're starting out with big boy decisions. He has to be rank one for me. I have not enjoyed going up against him. Wouldn't quite inch him into broken, but at the same time, he's better than just a weekend league attacker. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Had the pleasure of meeting and speaking with him. Lovely individual, but I don't like him in FC 24. He is not gonna change the game for you. We're just talking about a video game. Speaking of, Saudi collaborative efforts, not the same player. Last year, every day of the week, he would have been broken every iteration, every version. Demarcus Beasley, debatable. He does give you an outlet for a fullback, which is necessary this year. We've seen everything is around the wings. That's what I'm seeing. Berbatov, one of my favorite players to watch. And he's got memorable moments. It's gotta be said. I, I know right now, if you're thinking back on Berbatov, how many distinct goals do you remember that he's scored? Berbatov. Berbatov, oh my word! It's pristine, but he is going to the pine, I think. I'm not happy about it, but I make these videos for the macro, for the masses, for all of you. I should mention, there will be a final review at the end of this here footage. Bomb Pastor, love that name. She's been good. Some would say great. I like her as a least foot champs certifiable. Tomas, the Swede, also in the foot champs category. Would not say he's a fan favorite, but he can get into rotations and he will make a difference. You'll notice him, he's not going invisible. He's not going miss. Timmy Cahill, as an Everton supporter, New York Red Bull supporter, all that to say that Timmy Cahill's probably in the pine. Campos, no, please stop trying to make Campos work for you. Captain Villa, he's not as good as last year, but I still have confidence in him. I have him currently in my squad. We have played 28 matches. He has one goal and four assists. Stat check. Joe Cole. I'll never forget a couple of his long distance efforts. One in particular at England. Lampard breaks here for Joe Cole. Oh, brilliant. Foot champ still feels like the placement. He's better than he was last year more relevant, more prevalent, more explosive, more dangerous. I don't feel that he's moved into that next category. Cordoba, it's gonna be a hot take. I got him debatable. I don't like these undersized center backs. This game is so AI assisted, the way that they step into space, they block shots, they intercept. You have more benefits of having a larger player in that position. You can't tell me different. Peter Crouch, the man that was hitting that robot, what? Crouch is a legend. He started podcasting. He's doing more interviews now. He's still going in the pine. Clint Dempsey. I just shared a stage with him for the launch of FC24. Can I get one bias? Can I get one bias? Can I get him into some sort of debate? For now, I've got Clint Dempsey in debatable. Dean Natale. Oh, straight to the top. I would maybe even go as far as saying he's the best hero this year. I don't know if you're pushed back on that. The Italian, he's got folks coming around. The fluency is on the up and up. Landon Donovan. My American bias it's kicking my spidey sense it's going off can we get landon donovan into the foot champs i'm gonna leave him in debatable right now but i'm not happy about it dude not a bad goalkeeper but i'm not fixing to give goalkeepers some sort of major pusher goalkeepers get treated like goalkeepers in my videos and my tears forlan i still like him still got love for him still got appreciation brand spanking new enzo i i, I don't think he's necessarily that good but his price tag is that expensive because no one has really used him i've gone up against him twice both of those games i did not notice him as a standout or a natural explosive attacker difference maker playmaker I, I i didn't see it i didn't see it i would maybe even go as far as saying he's the best hero this year janola okay i forgot about janola there for a second i might have got a little too excited talking about dean natale janola still might wear the crown as the hero that you'd like to be is an absolute maniac. He's a problem. He's a controller throw here, stomp you out. You don't want to get in a fight. He's got long hair. It looks good. He travels with multiple combs. All right, Julie, another new hero, if you will. Every time I've gone up against him, he's quick witted. The side to side, the agility, he's bursting by me. I might have some movement there early disclaimer, but first go around, foot champs, stamp. Mario Gomez, oh, 
If you whip in a lot of crosses, Gomez is going to do wonders for you. But that's the only way you can play with him. There's no skills there. He is super clunky. I think for the majority of you, you're going to dislike that experience. But if you're whipping in crosses, you're going for knockdowns, then maybe Gomez goes all the way up to foot champs. Or you could slide him in between and put him into a debate. Sydney Govu. Yes, sir. That man is responsive. Kanu is a no-go. Don't do that to yourself. Keen is pushing for a rank one for, for years truly. I, I really like him. And anytime I've gone up against him, he's been tearing me apart. That's where I'm at right now. One of the greatest finishers that does not get the credit that he deserves for his output on the actual pitch. You cannot tell me that Keen was not official with a 1v1. Solid midfield option that's also going to come in with good value. She has not really picked up the hype. Or maybe there hasn't been enough content around the German midfielder. Harry, the Aussie, I'm putting him into foot champs. Not sure that he's going to join my more elite categories just yet. Ledley King, surely going into the debate. Still got a good body type, takes up a lot of space. I've experienced playing against him and not having issues. And I've experienced going up against him where he's taking up all the space. Same here with the German middies. I don't want to talk about it too much, but the concern is the pace. I see it, you see it, we read it, we discuss. But the physicality, the defending, the anticipation, the positioning, you can't knock any of that. And defenders have so much in terms of attributes this year. Vincent Company, I still believe in him being rank one. Now hear me out. We had expectations that he would resemble or match up, regulate as a center back partnership and look similar to the likes of the Brazilian Lucio, who last year, unstoppable. All year long, the only reason that I don't think he's more expensive is because of the options and the depth that we have for the center back position. Durkee Kaut, I'm not going to put him into the pine. He has put in a lot of work and time for our club. Cheap, discounted, runs all day, versatile, utility type of player. And that leads us to Lucio. I still think Lucio should be considered broken. Lucio didn't necessarily even fall off. Maybe a small step. He's not quite as overpowered as last year. The game just shifted where more center backs can do the job. Lippman in. I don't think you're doing it. We're going to put him to the pine. You're not excited about that. New. Brand spanking new. The Frenchman, he could do it. Want a fullback? That's fine. Freddie. Ah. <sighs> You could play Freddie, so you could put him into a debate, but he's never outstanding and he's never awful. That's how I feel about Freddie and probably by definition, the debatable. Marquisio, I'm on the fence with this year. Not in terms of him being a difference maker. I just don't know if I feel comfortable that he's getting into this Lucio, Ginola, Dean and Tally, that current grouping. Mascherano, for me, the debate, and I would have to run him as a holding mid or a center mid of some sort. This McMahon will surprise you if you give him an opportunity. Again, he's got the curls. They're out. They're moving. He runs all day. Melito, not my type of player. And some of you will swear by him and be able to do this, but you're the same guy that can play with the Gomez or that can tear it up with the Morientes, who's next on this list. Morientes, I would even say, is a little bit better than Melito, so I'm just going to give him the debate or I'm more comfortable with Morientes. Sometimes that's what this comes down to is coziness, comfortability, experience. Rafael Marquez. He was better last year. Is it wrong that I'm not giving him foot champs? Most of always a no-go. Don't do that to yourself. Nakata on the come up. If you packed him or you picked him up or you got him in one of those hero guarantees, congratulations. I'm still using Nakata right now. He gives you a lot. You can play him as a center mid, a holding mid if you have proper support. Play him as a cam. I've played him out wide. He scores a lot of goals from outside the box for me. He's got... That Travella action, time it green. I I truly have only positives around this Nakata. Things are getting busy, busy. JJ is nice with it this year. Clear rank one. Would highly recommend. Trickster playstyle plus. Explosive, deceptive, animated. Big skill move runs. Can create space out of nothing, which is hard to do this year in general. We call him the magician. Pepin. I, I, don't, I don't like him. And... That seems like a hot take. Most of you, I think, will have him in a debate. Maybe, maybe I have to put him there, but I don't love him. This Futra is crazy. I think Futra's got to be actually in rank one. Back to that goodness. The Portuguese man has made a return, and it is emphatic. Ramirez. It's too annoying. Ramirez is the definition of broken. I remember FIFA 12 and that era of him at Chelsea. It's unforgettable, and this is bringing back the same type of vibe, energy, memory. And for that reason, I'm giving him broken. I would rather go up against Marquisio than Ramirez. Ricken, absolutely not. Don't do that to yourself. 
Reese is an interesting one. I'd prefer him almost as a center back, but I have a lot of respect for him. He's a little bit clunky. Offensively, you're getting a little more of that onslaught, that true fullback, that overlapping run. It was Fortune. Reese! Oh, my goodness. goodness gracious, mate. The ability to pinpoint and be precise and the confidence that you'd like to have for any defender getting out of the back. But defensively, some of the side to side and the jockey, it could be better. Tomas Rosicki, pretty excited about this announcement originally. I don't know if EA get, did him right by the stats. Maybe that could have been allocated differently. Most of you, I feel, will have him into a debate. Rui Costa has been a legend for me in the past. If we're dating it back to the days of the legends. We're not talking about icons. We're going FIFA 17, FIFA 18. I believe FIFA 19 was the shift. I, I think it's a little bit better. I, I still I still believe in him on the weekend league. I, I want to say he had five or six play styles, which definitely helps him. Scott, another one of these new fullbacks. Heroes have quite a few, and they all, to me, maybe because we have a lack of fullbacks in this year's title in particular, but they're ready to, to, to get themselves in a starting 11 again as this video is being recorded. Give it some time, maybe that shifts. Smaller wreck. He is so annoying to go up against. And just think if EA gave him the full-on tools because he doesn't really have the weak foot and the skills and that level of expression, but turn and burn and he's got you covered. Schneider, I like it foot champs. I'm tempted to put him into rank one. Again, covered with play styles. It helps him a lot in terms of being a little more of an elite influence. If you've used him, you, you probably have an opinion. Gone up against him, he did some facilitating. Solshire is a no-go. Yaya Torre, he's joining the power five or the big five. The heroes that you hope to see in any sort of pack, these five are going to lead you to the promised land and you're gonna get better results without being better at the game. Carlitos! Carlos Tevez, strength is there. He's monster, he's powerful. Again, doesn't really have all the expression with some of the skills, but if you're nice with the R1 dribbling, he will be able to win a header, he can climb, he's decisive, he's strong, physical as can be. The man's been going to the gym from the beginning of time. I'm happy to have him back into the title. John Luca, I'm gonna give him the debate. I, I'm not sure if you could push for him beyond that. Probably better than the pine, I've seen John Luca in multiple rotations, starting 11s, even super subs. I'm going up against him regularly. So I know that he is definitely being highlighted or he's being packed a lot because he is a constant reminder throughout division rivals, foot champs, even drafts. And then Voller. I do not like going up against Voller. I haven't figured it out. On paper, he's not my favorite type of attacker because again, he, the German lacks some of the skills and some of those final details but maybe because he has a mullet and he has the physicality and he has high pace and the, the shooting he just scores everything i concede so many goals going up against voller I, I wouldn't be doing him proper service if i didn't have him at least rank one let's review some of these gentlemen are clear as day that this is where they should be but i, I could hear a case for gomez so i'm gonna go ahead and give the german the nod, I would be highly interested in moving Cahill from a biased perspective, but I'd have to come with that disclaimer. Freddy should definitely be in the debate. He will never be elite tier, but he's also not going to let you down. That's what I look at when I'm talking about good old Freddy. Might do it, just, yep, I've done it. All right, I understand if you don't like that, totally get it. Marquez is kind of nice with it. Even more so after last year and his performance, what he accomplished, my level of belief. I've given him the nod but I'm feeling a little controversial. Mascherano's not my style. Cordoba's not my style. You'll have an American in foot champs before you know it. Foot champs, rank one, broken. All of these players are guys that you, you want to see time and time again. With the fullbacks, all these new introductions between the women and the men, they got to be there because as it stands, there's not enough competition in those positions that are better. Shout out to Nakata. I just like Nakata a lot this year. Same with Smallerek. That guy somehow figures it out. Rank one, Voller, Futra, JJ, Marquisio, Company, Keen, Pele. If anything, Keen would be the mover. I'm, I'm bringing him down. I, I think he fits better with the group that I have in foot champs. Broken, for yours truly, this is the five. D Natale has been built different. Best D Natale we've ever had. Ginola, he's being himself. Lucio, I think, is still in that category. I just feel that other center backs caught up to him a little bit. Ramirez is the definition of broken. 
And then Yaya Torre, he doesn't need a cosign. Let me know your thoughts. I think we've stirred it up well. There's a lot of controversy in some of these takes, but that's what it's all about. If you have not subscribed, it is free to do so. I appreciate you. We have been uploading a lot. We're working hard. If you want to see gameplay for a lot of these players, second channel at The Playbook, there will also be other videos being suggested on screen. And as always, I have a lot more content coming out ASAP, ASAP.